Annihilate might just be one of the most broken new Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. The secret is in its signature move, Rage Fist. It's a 50 base power physical ghost type attack that increases base power by 50 each time you get hit by an attack. And you can even switch out and still keep its boosted base power. In this video, I'm going to show you all the best set for this Pokemon and how to win literally any game with a few clicks of a button. Let's get into it. So the first set is the most destructive set imaginable, and in my opinion is what every set should run. A really bulky Annihilate like this with bulk up can allow you to tank hits repeatedly over the course of a battle and power up Rage Fist as much as possible, so that literally everything bar normal types and maybe some fat dark types will perish in one hit. And the normal and dark types that do tank it will just get destroyed by Drain Punch anyways, which restores your health and lets you keep doing it over and over again. Taunt is super important on this set so that you avoid getting status by Will-O-Wisp, Toxic Spore, and phased out by Whirlwind to shuts down those mons. It also stops Pokemon from going for healing moves, which can be quite nice to keep their HP low. Defiant is the ability of choice here, so that any Pokemon that drops your stat will raise your attack in doing so. I guess Vital Spirit can also work as well, so you can't be put to sleep, period, since I've seen a lot of Yawn and Spore Pokemon as of late, but Defiant is without a doubt the superior option, just because of what it can do. And what makes this set even more broken is that your Terra type is set to Water. With Water Terrestrialization, you can catch so many Pokemon off guard, like Golden Go and Fluttermane, among many other things, which can no longer hit you super effectively with their Stab Shadow Balls or Moon Blast or whatever. And you also transform into a Palafin Counter by becoming Water type. Literally, the entire metagame suffers the Wrath of Annihilate. Because there's so many Pokemon that are just not strong in Grass or Electric, majority is like Steel, Ghost, Fairy, all kinds of stuff like that. There's a lot of like threatening types out there. Even Water's a threatening type. And when you become Water, you just you lose all those weaknesses. You don't, you don't have any Pokemon that can really threaten you anymore, especially if you've bulked up a lot. The EV spread I've given it with the HP defense and special defense, I'm pretty sure allows you to not get 2 KO'd by plus 1 Fluttermane after Trasalization and Stealth Rocks with Leftovers, and in the same conditions it also survives a headlong rush from attack boosted Great Tusk, even if you've not set up yet. The speed is so that you can outrun neutral base 70s like Breloom and Below. It's highly suggested to run this Pokemon with another teammate that can set up Light Screen and Reflect so that you can get more Rage Fist boosts by taking more hits from the opposing Pokemon, which is how you pull off the, the easiest sweeps of your life with this Pokemon. Set up screens, and you're good to go pretty much. Before I show you all the other sets, please do leave a like on this video if you're enjoying, it helps a lot, and subscribe if you haven't already on our journey to 100k. Now to talk about some other sets here. We obviously have to mention some choice sets. A choice scarf set like this has two applications. The first is clicking Final Gambit, which can be really really good because with such a high base HP set of 110, you can actually get a knockout for a knockout if you wanted to, eliminate a huge threat, and then maybe follow up with another Choice Scarf Pokemon with Copycat like Blissey, like remember the one uh, video I did from a long time ago? If you haven't seen that, check it out. Final Gambit Blissey, look that up, you'll find my video. And um, there's a lot of Final Gambit strategies that you could do with this Pokemon. I think the translation type here should be maybe one of, one of your two stabs, like fighting your ghost for either the damage boost to Rage Fist or Close Combat, because this can be used in one of two ways. This can be used as a Final Gambit Mon, or with the high base HP, you can decide if you want to keep this Mon, to just use it to switch into Mons that resist hits, like U-turns and stuff like that, boost up Rage Fist, and then just unleash it all on your opponent. And I think the same thing for the Choice Band set should also be Terrestrialized into Finding Your Ghost. So the Choice Band set is next. I, I showed Choice Scarf. Choice Band is also there as well that I wanted to, uh, I guess, give a mention to. You're already hitting pretty hard, so I guess other types for translation can work too if you want. But another interesting set that shouldn't be overlooked is Stealth Rocks. That's right. Annihilate actually has Stealth Rocks, and paired with Defiant, it could give Defoggers a lot of trouble. It's also a ghost type, so it naturally blocks Rapid Spin, which is pretty cool. I like Chesto Rest because it's a reliable form of recovery and removes any status conditions. It's better on a set like this that doesn't have bulk up because when you have bulk up, you're able to drain HP a lot more with drain punches doing more damage, but since it's going to be like weaker drain punches here, rest is just a great way to reliably recover your HP and remove status conditions. And the Chesto Berry wakes you up immediately, so that's great too. Same EV spread as the first set, which is the best in my opinion. And finally, if you want to be really wild, here's a set that I think has some potential, some new heat. There's a new item called Punching Gloves that acts like protective pads so that you don't take damage or effects from contact moves, but it also adds a 1.1 times power boost to punching moves like Rage Fist I assume. You can bulk up to boost your stats, and dear to get to 1 HP, and also it boosts Rage Fist in the process by increasing an additional 50 power during that endure, and then either reversal for 200 power or Rage Fist for maybe a million power if you've already been taking hits. Um, 
I would pair this specifically with sticky webs to outrun more Pokemon. A sticky web user could perhaps be really nice for this one in particular. So if you made it to this point in the video, I'd like for you to let me know in the comments what your favorite new Pokemon is that was taken from an old Pokemon, maybe a new evolution from an old Pokemon, or a new form. I'd like to know. Mine is definitely Annihilate. It has to be. Like, this is such a cool Pokemon. I'm so glad that I get to feature it all for you. And now, let's just jump right to the battles. Was pop, and you already know what time it is. Time to hop back on the ladder and annihilate some poor souls with this Annihilate creation. Now, this team might possibly be my current best one. Only three teams in, I know, but this one is something special. Uh, my boy hit me up and was like, you should try Taunt Annihilate. And I was like, say less, I'm on it. Shout out to PKS. I just had to make a team around it. Here's how it works. You set up dual screens, right? Light Clay will extend the turns of Reflect and Light Screen so that you can take less damage overall for a longer period of time. Taunt will prevent hazards and what whatnot if you're leading with it, which is the lead Pokemon for the team, right? Then, once screens are up, we have Cyclozar, taking a nice little chapter from our last video, gonna shed tail out into something like Annihilate, right? And then Annihilate could set up with bulk up. And then I have here um, some offensive mons that you've seen before, Iron Treads from the last video, and then Flutter Mane and Roaring Moon from the first video that I did. And I think this team works really, really well with screens. And it is so dangerous to allow Annihilate to just take hits multiple times and power up Rage Fist to the maximum power. And that is going to be the squad. Let's just get right into it. I'm excited because this Pokemon here is one of my favorites. It's so, so cool. And okay, so we're up against kind of a stall. This is a stall team pretty much. But Annihilate goes in. Oh, Annihilate goes in. We just have to get rid of that, um, the, the Claude Zire. So what I want to do first, I believe is, we will go Grimmsnarl. Probably spam Spirit Break on this thing. Just to get some good damage on this Mon. Yeah, 44 is always respectable. They go for rocks. We can now click Reflect here. Alright, and then we can... We don't even need to Light Screen. I guess we can Light Screen if we want to, so let's just do it. So they're going to be Iron Defense Body Press. We should be able to go here into Flutter Main. Like straight into it. And then here, what we can do is just Shadow Ball. So they go Claw's Eye, right? But they don't know we have the Psy Shock. <laughs> Doing 64. And weakening this thing is going to be extremely nice. Like extremely, extremely nice. And gone. So this Pokemon out of the way now opens up Bulk Up Annihilate. It's going to open it up completely. This is great. This is absolutely fantastic. So here, actually, we're going to save this Mon. Go into um, Cyclozar. We can Shed Tail out now. We can Shed Tail out here. Yep. Behind the sub, we go into Annihilate. So this is beautiful. We're behind the sub. They can't Seismic Toss us either. Nice. We can now click Bulk up here. As Salamence comes in, okay. I'm not sure exactly what this set's gonna do, but I can bulk up again, so they Fire Blast. And then here, I could, in theory, I could Terrastalize here. And go right for the, um, because I don't know if they're gonna Hurricane or not. I can also just Rage Fist. Yeah, they do have Hurricane. We, ate, we eat that up completely though. And then here, I'm going to actually just, um, I'm going to Terrastalize here and Rage Fist. Yep. Eating it up. Confusion and no hurting ourselves. Nice. Beautiful. So that works pretty well. The Golden Mon comes in. And here, I guess we can just... So at this point in time, if I'm not mistaken... We could just stay in with this thing. This has already put in the work quite a lot. They Shadow Balled here. And what we can do now is, I believe, go into Grimmsnarl. Let's get our screens up again. Because now that we've gotten rid of the Unaware Mon, this Mon is still there, of course, but we are going to just taunt this. Then hit the Reflect up. 
And now we can go into probably Cyclozar is actually not bad because we can actually go for the Draco Meteor. Which actually does hit this time, which is nice. Another one should knock it out. Uh, not quite, not quite. A um, little annoying. Just a little annoying. But we can taunt here now, so that's really good. And so this being taunted means that we can go into probably a Flutter Main. Double into Iron Treads, I think. Yep, perfect. And now we get to Iron Defense ourselves right here. And get a big body press off on something after. So definitely uh, Iron Defense up, I think, is the play. I don't think they'll go Avalug on this. Yeah, exactly. Nice, nice. Here, I think we just Earthquake. Pretty safe. They give us Choice Scarf. So... It is a little unfortunate. Just a little. So Ting Lu is in now. Here I think we could probably just go into Roaring Moon, I think is our play. And now I think we just Dragon Dance up. Crunch here. Or we could Dragon Dance again, potentially, or... Hmm. Okay, not bad. So they do body press, and then our, our steel type, which means that we actually could technically lock ourselves in an earthquake. So that's gone, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We definitely go this and click rapid spin now. They go Avalug, and then we go Iron Treads. Okay, that, that works, that works. Here, we can go Body Press here. And then I think we can just... Okay, so this is weak, this is pretty weak, which is always nice to see. Do it again, and then let's body press again. Okay, so now we reset. Let's go this, shed tail out. I think is the play. Actually, uh, sleep for, okay, so they slept talk here. Okay, nice. Shed tail out. We go into the treads. Body press is the play. And then we go um, this mon, rapid spin here. Okay, they go Blissey, nice. We get to go Iron Treads. So Seismic Toss, Shadow Ball. Heal Bell, oh nice, okay, that's pretty good. That is pretty good indeed. So we have to go this. Moonblast here. We switch out. We now double. Nice. We then go treads. Oh, they got rocks at this time. Nice. Good play. Good play. Good play. They do have whirlwind, it seems. Oh, so they can't touch anything then, huh? Hmm. Okay, that's interesting.
That is very interesting. So this has no attacks on it. Oh no, not this. Not this switch in. Doing 31 here. So we have to just, um, we have to rapid spin then. Rapid spin away. Okay. So here we'll body press. I am running out though, unfortunately. I'm gonna body press again. All right, so they are locked in. The sleep talk rocks. Okay, so then I think here we just um, calm mind. If we can knock this out somehow, that would be great. So I think we just uh, rapid spin. And so the good thing is we can actually um, let's earthquake here first. Ooh, that's enough. That's all we need. Wait a second. Wait a second. We win. <laughs> we actually win. Ooh, because they cannot attack us at all. Yep, good game. Okay, that was an actual like tough game, but we beat Stall. And imagine, at the beginning of a brand new generation, where there's so many possibilities, so many great options, so many amazing Pokemon. The first thing that somebody thinks of is, I got to build a Stall team like this and annoy everybody. <laughs> That's crazy. Ah, I'm so glad we beat that guy. But on to the next one. Time to see if we can... <laughs> Not face any more stall, that'd be nice. Okay, so we got some offense here. Um, ooh, Orthorum. That's a cool Mon. Make sure you never go for ground types on that Mon because it has an ability that ground types will not work on it, even though it's a steel type. Pretty cool. I really like this team a lot. They do have the uh, Revival Blessing Mon here. I don't know if they uh, finally implemented the, the move. If they did, then, you know, we have our work cut out for us. Alright, so they lead Orthworm. This Mon, I don't know what it's going to do, but we're going to reflect here and pray that we can survive the onslaught of this Pokemon. Definitely, we reflect here. I actually don't know what moves this thing has. It could have Stealth Rocks or something, but I remember, I think I faced one of them before. It had, like, Heavy Slam. So they go for Iron Head. Okay, nice. We eat that up pretty well. Gonna taunt here. And then let's set up a light screen. For good measure. We live on one, so that's pretty nice. Let's go Cyclozar. And then let's uh, Shed Tail out. Shed Tail out into Annihilate. And they Shed Tail out themselves into Palafin. Let's bulk up here. Actually, no. Let's uh, let's taunt first. Oh, okay. We should have bulked up then. But taunt seems, seems pretty good too. They don't get to keep that though. <laughs> they don't. All right, let me uh, let me bulk up again. And now let's terrestrialize. I think we terrestrialize here, or um, because the reflect wore off, right? Terrestrialize rage rage fist fist here. Take this out. Eat it up. Gone. We're plus two now. We could drain punch this Palmot. Pretty sure we'll live this. Thunder punch. Yeah, we live that easily. Ooh, yum health. Yum health. So, kind of tempted to keep this mon around because we've taken so many hits as it is. I'm going to go Iron Treads. And then what we can do here is Body Press for some Chip. They mock Punch, nice. So we'll get rid of that Pokemon. We can come back in with Annihilate and then go for another Rage Fist. It keeps the base power, so it's going to be doing a lot to whatever comes in. <laughs> That's exactly how it works. Set up screens, Shed Tail into Annihilate, 
set up, potentially win, or potentially win something else. Amazing. Okay, so that worked really well. We got the speed boost as well here, so that's pretty cool. Palafin is going to probably jet punch us. There's nothing I can do about it other than uh, suffer to that Pokemon. Now we can go this. Let's Rage Fist here. We are water type. <laughs> ah. Gone. Yo! Annihilated. Who's the hero now? I am. You either uh, die the hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. <laughs> ah, I need to watch that movie again. One of my favorites. I think I have to go here into... Do I need to go into anything? I probably don't. I probably could just stay in and Rage Fist here. Ooh, look at this EV spread. That My EV spread is the best. My EV spread is literally the best ever. Oh, amazing. I'm switching out here. Preserve you and I. I gotta preserve you. <laughs> the Dragon Inside, that's fine. We just uh, Moonblast here. We're faster anyways. Nice. Goodbye. Ah, good game, good game. Yo, that is so clean. That is like the cleanest I've ever seen. Well, I mean, I've seen cleaner. With the replays that I'll show you at the end, I'll, I'll show you some clean stuff with Annihilate, but oh, that was amazing. And it's so consistent too, like the way that Annihilate works, being really bulky and just getting so powerful with, with Rage Fist, it's super consistent. This Mon, I didn't think would stand a chance with all these other um, Paradox Pokemon and the Chinese beasts. I didn't think Annihilate could come toe-to-toe -to -toe with these mods, but it's so good. Really strong Pokemon overall. And let's continue on. It's really fun to use it. We got the the nice uh, sand houndstone combination. Okay, have our work cut out for us here. A lot of threats on their team. I assume it's probably Hazard lead Glamora. They lead with Chi Yu. Oh my, okay. We definitely want our light screen up. They burn us immediately. Ah. Love to see it. So here I think we can switch out into Cyclozar. Save this thing for a potential reflect. Although they do go into this mod now. So let's shed tail out. And let's go into Annihilate. Okay, nice. Let's bulk up here. So this looks like it's some kind of a set, but I'm going to continuously bulk up versus this thing. I think is the play. Just continuously bulk up. I'm looking at their team. I'm liking bulk up a lot. The earthquake, nothing. Ah, let me do it again. I wonder if they'll let me, they're probably going to do the, the spin move to poison me. Yeah, which is fine. I. Don't lose much by going for another Drain Punch. Or perhaps a Rage Fist. Oh, Memento! Yo! They Mementoed me! And they gave me boosts! And they made me strong! <laughs> they made me powerful! Almighty Annihilate! Thank you! <laughs> I was waiting for this to happen. Waiting to show off Defiant. This is the time. The time is now. <laughs> ah. Now what? Chi Yu? This is the time we terastalize and drain punch. Ooh, they psychic. And I get my health all the way back. <laughs> Not all the way, but that's okay. Pretty good. <laughs> ah, we are now water type annihilate. The heat's too much for them. We got to give them a little bit of water, you know? King Gambit? Allow me to just attack you too. And looks like we've just... Well, I don't want to jinx anything, but... This could be a 6-0 sweep. Protosynthesis. Okay, so we Rage Fist this. This is going to destroy this. Ah, nice. And gone. Tyranitar's in, we definitely Drain Punch you all the way back up. Now we get to see the 300 base power last resort coming out. They're definitely going to terastalize it too. So we're going to just uh, pray and see if we can live. And we do! <laughs> they
They didn't even terrestrialize it. Okay. Good game. Ah, good game. A 6-0 with Annihilate right there. Defiant activation, terrestrialization, 6 0 a sand team with a lot of threats. That is the perfect, absolute example that I wanted to show you all of Annihilate annihilating something. And it just did over-the-top justice right there. Ooh, you, yo, you gotta leave a like for that. You gotta leave a like for that, though. <laughs> That's crazy. I have no idea how we're gonna top that, but we will try. <laughs> we will most certainly try. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get some screens up. It's screen time. Reflect light screen. Let's taunt you. Light screen up. There's a bulk up Corviknight. Ooh. Okay. Bulk up kind of nice. This thing we definitely will click taunt. Stone Edge critical hit. Oh, okay, wonderful. Well, good to know where you are. Where? Look where I am now. Annihilate time. Hammer arm. Ooh, immune. <laughs> bulk up here. Let's bulk up again. And again. And a drain punch now. It lived. Crazy how that works. But I think we only need three. We only need three right now. Fluttermane? This is where we terrestrialize. Moonblast. Yo, Oakwood. <laughs> Chi Yu. Okay, let's drain punch you. Eating it up, eating it up, and gone. Do we actually have two six holes back to back? There's no way. There's no way. Corviknight. Oh no, I think a Rage Fist will take this out. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Palafin hero. It's not zero to hero. It's hero to zero. <laughs> Oh my lord. I'm just gonna rage fist this. Yo, good game! <laughs> Annihilate Annihilation. Oh my lord. Two games back to back 6 0 sweeps. Okay, you gotta subscribe for that one. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, you gotta subscribe for that one. Ah. Oh. Wow, okay. Okay. I need to. Whew. I need to take a deep breath. Ah. <sighs> That right there, folks, is the envy sigh of triumph. There's the envy sigh of disappointment, and then there's the envy sigh of triumph. Jeez, that, that's crazy. I mean, this video is already, like, I'm, I'm happy with this video already. I could end it off here, but we're gonna keep getting games because content is fun. Scarlet and Violet. Okay, Garchomp lead. We're just going to taunt you immediately because this is probably rocks and spikes. Let's taunt this thing. Yep, and then reflect light screen. Okay, they're on a balloon. What in the world are they doing up there? And they sub. Oh, oh my. Okay, well, can't let you nast. Oh, I can't taunt it either. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Knock off. We are in trouble. That's a mon. That's that's a mon right there. Okay, okay, okay. Can't do any sub stuff or anything, but that's it's whatever. Let me just attack you. Special defense drop. Okay, it's time to knock you out. Time to knock you out, please. The yawned. Okay, that's fine. This mon needs to go though. Okay, we get to 50 to this month. That's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. Swords Dance. Okay, let's Iron Defense up. I think, or we just Body Press here. Let's Iron Defense up. Iron Defense up. Iron Defense. Yep. Body Press here. Now they're shook. Not going to go for it again. Exactly. Egg. Exactly. This month's in. I think it's time we just earthquake this, knock it out, and a nice little iron treads for you all right now. Right here, right now. Do I win if I just 
Iron defense up and win with this thing. I could. Possibly. Oh, they have Dragon Tail. Nice. It's pretty cool. So in that case, I'm going Grimmsnarl. And I'm going to click Taunt. And now I'm going to reflect and get my screens up. Definitely are going... I think definitely we taunt this. And then light screen. Hard Annihilate. And we get the boost. Oh yeah, I forgot we get, we get a boost from Acid Spray. I forgot about that. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter though, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I think we taunt this thing. Actually, no, this is Water Absorb, right? Probably Water Absorb for other Palafins. Yep, I figured as much. I figured as much. They're only unaware on stall teams like we faced in the beginning, but unlike other teams, I think they're Water Absorb. Um, Garchomp, Rage Fist you. Do a good amount of damage to you. We can come back in with that later. And then versus this, I think we just probably crunch here. We could also sub. I think I'll just crunch. It's not even strong enough to knock it out, unfortunately, but... Is what it is. Let's go, um... Grimmsnarl. And so I think it up spikes. Let's just taunt this. The hazards are annoying, I must admit. Forgot about the golden golden goes ability. But let's get some screens up. And let's get a light screen up just in case. It's probably we don't even need to, but it's all good. Um Okay, so here we go Iron Treads. We definitely click Earthquake here to knock this mon out. I believe is the play. So the Palafin is in. Now, question is what do we have to go for to win this game? I think what we can do potentially is we could Terrastalize Iron Defense. Which could probably beat the Slitherwing. Actually, let me see the, the data on this mon. DT... Defense is actually really bad on it. So I feel like we could actually, potentially, break through. Oh, let me Iron Defense up. I think, let's, let's Terrastalize this and Iron Defense up. Because we don't want to lose to Jet Punch, which I think is going to happen. I can see the jet yeah, I can see the jet punch winning. So let's terrestrialize this, iron defense up. They bulk up. We're gonna iron defense again. Let's body press here. Good damage. And let's body press again. What did they terrestrialize with? Nothing, right? Why didn't they terrestrialize uh Palafin? Kinda curious about that. But I think two body presses will knock this out, probably. Because I think this is a, if I remember correctly, it's a physical attacker, not a special attacker. So we will knock this out here and win this game with our Pokemon. I love how broken everything is. You know, I think my mind has changed on translation. I think it's great. I think it's good to keep with a, with like a tier list like this, with a whole lot of Pokemon like this in the tier. I don't know, like everything seems broken. Unless they start banning the, the more overpowered mons, unless they start banning those from the OU tier, then like Trastization really helps to take advantage of like everything. <laughs> I don't know, I like it. I, I'm having fun with it. I really like it a lot. It's broken. It's so broken, but I like it. <laughs> it's so much fun. Let's get another. Like I, I was going to show replays at the end in case that we didn't get like 6-0 sweeps, entire 6-0 sweeps, but we got two of them back to back. And an ally putting in work in pretty much every single game, which you absolutely love to see. I'm going to go ahead and set up screens. This guy's rocking a stall team. This is going to be really annoying, but I think an ally can actually uh, can actually do it. Let's see, though. Let's see. I feel like an ally will actually do really well here if we get the right, the right stuff. This will probably be the last one, though. Okay, this mon, yeah, so it's going to go for, like, sub... So what we want to do here is go, I think Cyclozar. 
Oh, they just nasty plot immediately. Okay, so let's go ahead and shed tail out pretty safely. There's a pretty safe shed tail here. And so we can bring in... Uh, we have to bring in Flutter Main. And then go out for the Shadow Ball. And they go Blissey, which means we can just Command Up. And so here I'm actually going to Psy Shock. As they go back into Blissey, yep. Get some damage. Let's go ahead and Command Up again. So we can break through this thing, and they know it now. So here we can just Shadow Ball. Get, ooh, huge damage on this mon, huge damage. We do get knocked out though, unfortunately, but that's really, really good for us to get that kind of damage on this mon. Now, what we can do here is we can go Annihilate, I think, to knock it out. I think Annihilate will knock it out with a Drain Punch, but I don't know, I want to be kind of safe about it. I think it can, 13%, come on. That was a crit at plus two, so it's like spit F. Let's, right, let's drain punch this, knock it out. We should be able to knock this out. They go Amoongus, okay. So this turn, what we can do is taunt. Bulk up here. So it's a definite bulk up right now. Taunt Annihilate. He's going to put in some work here, I feel. I am ready for the fun to begin. So they foul play. All right. Let's bulk up again. Let us taunt this thing, I think, is what we do. I'm not too sure what this thing does. I'm really not too sure. I know it's unaware. Gonna taunt anyways, just in case they have like roar or something, which I have no idea if they have or not. Okay, so we taunt that. Let's uh, rage fist here. It's only doing 15, which is not much at all. Okay, so I'm going to taunt anyways. So basically, if they, if they keep switching back and forth, that's fine. I'm just going to get to plus 6 first, beforehand. Alright. Let's taunt this. Yeah, there we go. Let's bulk up here. Going to just rage fist a little. I'm always dead. <laughs> Among is dead. It's time. It's time. Ah. Let's go ahead and terastalize here. That's what I thought. Yo, that's what I thought. <laughs> Terrastal water. Ah. Good game. 6 0 stall again. Not 6 0, but you know what I mean. Destroyed stall once again. Ah. <laughs> So happy about that. This is undoubtedly my favorite video right now. I'm pretty sure because Annihilate did so much work. Destroyed stall, destroyed offense, destroyed everything. Bulk up, like literally just one behind screens. Even just bulk up trashization, change it to water type, and nobody expecting that is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal work put by this Pokemon. And it's exactly why it literally is my favorite Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. Um, I use it on my main team. It's, it's just a great mod overall. Now before I end this off, I do want to show one replay here. Um, this was like pretty much when I was at the beginning of laddering, I think probably like my second or third game um, while I was testing this team and laddering it up all the way on this account. So let me show you guys what happened here. They're using the Blunder team or the one that he used on his video. Immediately taunt, right? Had to taunt this thing, can't set up spikes, rocks, etc. Get the reflect up and then get the, uh, the light screen up right after. Basically, if I don't touch that thing at all, it won't spit out toxic spikes on my side. They go into this mod. Now I go Cyclozar, they decide to make it rain and crit me 100% so they really did make it rain there, unfortunately. But Annihilate comes out now. They switch out, right? Into Corviknight, maybe to try to defog screens or to wall me. But look, bulk up here, taunt right after. Shuts down this thing pretty much completely. They Brave Bird though, so they at least um, want to attack and not go for any kind of 
move that would fall to taunt. So they did actually uh, predict that, I guess. Not the taunt, but just made the good play there. But they're powering up my Rage Fist. And I'm getting angry. And I'm getting mad. Look at this thing bulking up, right? This thing bulking up right now. The U-turn. They powered me up even more. Rage Fist is like 150 now. Like 200 or whatever. 150 base power. No, they can say hey, three times. So it's 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50. It's like 200 now. Taunt this thing so they can't Whirlwind at all. Rage Fist Oko the Hippowdon. Gone. Hippowdon is Hippow gone. And so we're still pretty healthy. They go Glamora. It's like at this point in time, I mean, they're, yeah, they're going to Mortal Spin, but we do have Drain Punch, so we can keep ourselves healthy over time. Just going to heal up here. They spit out that Toxic, but I have no intention of switching out here. And um, yeah, they go right for the Memento, but look, the stat boosts. The stat boosts. That's what happened in this video too. <laughs> and I bulk up again, so now I'm Max Attack. Max Attack Annihilate here. <laughs> and then the thumbnail text. I have to show you guys the thumbnail text. This guy's the god and I got cooked, LMAO. <laughs> ah, that's like the perfect thumbnail text too. So thank you for that, for this video. GG crazy team. And then they forfeit right there because we terrestrialized into water so that we could dodge the uh, the Shadow Ball KO. And I don't even think it would have knocked us out either. It did 30, so super effectively it would have done about here probably. But it's just crazy to see how much work this Pokemon can put in. One of the best Pokemon I've used so far. I have to say... Easy, easy wins. Like, so easy. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed Annihilate and annihilating everybody with it. And yeah, I hope you all are enjoying all the Scarlet and Violet content that I'm putting out. Um, I don't know if I can keep up, like, the daily uploads because I have, like, work and stuff like that. But I'm trying to do as, like, many videos as I can at a time. Uh, just because, like, the hype is so real. Like, it's so good right now. And there's a lot of mods that I want to use as well. So I look forward to hearing from you all in the comments. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.